Hello, hello, baby, baby, baby. This is my new painting and it is called Love from Mother Earth. Hello, hello, this is my new painting. It's called Love for Mother Earth and I also made a perfume oil to go with it also called Love for Mother Earth and there is a spider on the ceiling <laughs> I welcome every spider in my house by the way so I made somebody real mad by saying that <laughs> before long time ago we were looking at a property to buy it was like a hundred acres or something it was a, f a former lily farm and that lily farmer talked to us and the first question we asked was how many pesticides have been used on those acres and he got very off standish and said you have to use pesticides to grow lilies and we said no you don't <laughs> and so the con conversation went to biodynamic farming which he heard of but never utilized I guess he hasn't read the books just heard about it he doesn't listen to Rudolf Steiner and the business didn't make him happy now he's having to sell it and all of this and uh, he doesn't look healthy and it is a big mess and the, f the soil looks depleted and we decided not to buy it because it would take only a hundred years to recover the soil or something and we don't have time for that so anyway I told that farmer that I don't use pesticides and comes the question of course back so how do you control any pests so I said I don't see what other people see as pests I don't see as pests because it is life okay and I value life I value all life pro-life in the real sense but not in the Republican sense of course so and when I saw our realtor was there and she was snickering and <laughs> and then I finally said we have spiders in the house and I welcome every one of them and that's when he turned around and walked away and signed out spiders are good I love spiders there's a spider in that corner over there I don't know if it shows maybe I can show it <laughs> there's a spider right there and that spider net as you can see oh there's a there's a big one in there there is a big one and he has collected a whole bunch of stuff. You can see like wings and a fly and several flies and other spiders. Maybe a male spider got caught in there. After fertilizing he gets murdered and eaten. And so there's <laughs> all that collected stuff there. And there is the spider lady up there in the in the corner hanging there. Hanging there with a lot of patience waiting and here's my blue god there's another one and here are beautiful trees so anyway <laughs> I just love making videos as you can see it is fun I have somebody to talk to even if nobody listens <laughs> <laughs> I have my Fisher Price and it is fun so yeah you see I love spiders I love all life and I had a spider in my bathroom hanging over 
the counter in the corner and he was there and I observed him every day and he was there, I don't know, it's female or male. She hung there, <laughs> probably a she, became really big, like this big, this big. But I mean the body was about like the tip of my finger and then very long fanned out skinny legs and those are the ones that build nets and they're not dangerous but when I see a recluse I have to unfortunately destroy the recluse because and I hate doing this I really hate it and every time I do it I say oh you're beautiful I'm so sorry I have to do it I don't have another choice so yeah we have to make decisions at some point in life you know like when you're faced with a threat and of course a recluse doesn't want to hurt you it's just it has a natural build and defense mechanism it is highly poisonous so you have to at some point make a decision and have to say no huh, spider you can't be in my shower and when we haven't been here in a while and come back and it's always guaranteed that there's a recluse in the shower behind my shampoo bottle or something and one time I had like five recluses in my shower on the on the bottom hiding behind all these conditioner bottles and it was I always have like in my bathroom I never turn the bright light on I have two night lights in there because I find that more romantic so and then I take a shower with the night light and it's so nice and I don't see very well <laughs> and, and one time these five recluses came out and one jumped on my foot on the back of my foot a real big one it was like kind of like heavy <laughs> and and I was I screamed and jumped <laughs> and the spider jumped off my foot <laughs> it was so scary and I was just about to turn the water on and it was so awful I'm glad I didn't have shampoo all over me already so I had to unfortunately squish them with my conditioner bottle which is absolutely awful I don't like doing this but I had to do it and then I, I had to and I had to flush the bodies then the broken bodies into the drain and that's very that's all not good but they're going to be eaten by earthworms in the septic tank so that's great and because of the septic tank I never use anything that is toxic when I color my hair my gray hair I got gray underneath okay and so you can see it's already starting to grow out a little bit. I just did it recently. So I use henna. Henna is a plant from India and it's fantastic. It makes my hair look really nice. I like that color. It's beautiful. It doesn't leach the hair out. It coats the hair with the henna material and makes it reddish and like chestnut and I like it, it's beautiful. And one time I was at a laundromat and I like the, the lady was running, who is running the laundromat, she's a politician and she had commercial for PETA on her desk and it was very unusual for that, for that town. And <laughs> because I, I don't even think these people heard about PETA there. They're so, it's, it's kind of like a like the last rural town in the United States and so and the people hated her and of course it's, I mean that's clear you know it's anybody who goes against the republicanism there uh, has a business the, the people are they're gonna say nasty comments and um, avoid her and so on so anyway I had a petition that I wanted her to sign or wanted her to also exhibit on that desk uh, if possible and because she had a dry cleaner desk there 
And there was this guy working for her and I was talking to him and of course he's a Republican. In the end, after uh, I had to explain things to him about animal rights, he finally said, I see that your eyebrows are not the same color as your hair. And I didn't say anything. Afterwards I said, shoot, I wish I had said to him, what does this, does this now, my hair color and my eyebrows not matching, does this now refute all the things I have said before? Somehow, does this somehow have to do with animal rights or anything I said? And um, that's what I'm going to say the next time, <laughs> if somebody <laughs> points something that idiotic out. And yes, yeah, I'm 49, I have gray hair, I color my hair with henna, so what? Yeah, big deal. But I, I don't think I look like 49. I don't feel like 49 physically. So that's a, that's a real plus, I would say. And I like to flirt and I like Ben Goethe. And so that's a fact. And I don't know what to do about it. Take care.